Word up, Georgia Japan here with more information from a Japanese TV show. Boy, do I have an awesome story to tell you today. Today I'm going to be talking about a prank from London Hearts. London Hearts is a variety show hosted by the comedy duo London Boots. On their show they talk about romance, sometimes it's celebrity romance, sometimes they talk to real regular couples, uh, they survey people. But I think where the show truly shines is in pranks. In order to fully enjoy today's prank, I'm going to introduce some people. This is Kano Eiko. He's going to be the victim of the prank. He's a comedian and his whole gag is that he's like this narcissist host type of dude. He has some kind of funny word plays. He's from the same talent agency as Degawa. And when the two of them come together, it's just so stupid you can't help but laugh. And this is Dina Akiyama, a gravia idol who turned talent in the late 2000s. Fun fact, she's actually one of the sexy poster girls from Metal Gear 3. Finally, this is Atsushi. He's gonna be coordinating all of Dina's reactions and he's the evil mastermind behind the prank. The whole premise of this prank is to get Kano Eiko to believe that Dina has totally fallen for him. So first, Atsushi created this fake regular TV program that they're gonna co-host together. In their first meeting, they have the show's director tell them to exchange contact information since they're gonna be working together. And this is where the prank starts. The director who's working with Atsushi forwards a message from Dina saying that, oh wow, Kano Eiko is like much cooler in person than I thought he would be. And if you've ever wondered if Kano Eiko is just acting with that narcissistic character, he's not. <laughs> he really is like, yeah, <sighs> can't be helped, girls just fall for me. And over the next few days, while taping the show, they get closer and closer to each other. And Kano's trying to show off more and more in front of her. I think for a lot of shows, this would be enough, right? It seems like he believes it, they've spent a few days on it, but no. Not London Hearts. London Hearts goes above and beyond. The total time for this prank was 34 days. So they meet during the day, during this fake show, but they're constantly messaging each other, like at night and in the early mornings. And well, he's not messaging Dina. He's messaging Atsushi. By the end of the prank, Atsushi and him had exchanged 151 text messages. That is some crazy dedication. Even while Atsushi was working on other shows, he would stop and text him. Even in the early morning, text him. Even late at night, he was texting him. Oh, and for this prank, I think they had eight, what was it, ten comedians? So Atsushi had a whole bunch of different cell phones and he was constantly exchanging mails with all these different comedians trying to see which one was falling for the trick the most. Awesome! Again, Atsushi's real clever about this. He's more polite in the males in the beginning, but it's gradually building up like a real relationship. And it shows in his messages, and it shows in Dina's actions. And everything is just kind of building up, and they're wondering how they're going to end the prank. And really good timing. Uh, actually, it's, it was uh, Dina's birthday. And I guess Kano Eiko looked up her Wikipedia because he sent her a message like, Oh yeah, happy birthday, way really early in the morning. But anyway, so this is a big opportunity for Kano, and he has this big, huge birthday date planned that he invites her to, and yeah, they're gonna go. The show gets in contact with the restaurant, gets everything set up to be the big finale. So the date is set in motion, and Kano appears, holding a suitcase. So I guess he thought he was gonna get lucky tonight, but the show wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, and thought uh, maybe it's something else, maybe it's a surprise for Dina hidden in that could be a present. We, we don't know exactly what he's thinking. So yeah, it's a real nice restaurant. The date's going, well, the date's going kind of smoothly. Atsushi again guiding all of Dina's reactions, telling her exactly what to say. Kind of really screws up. He calls Dina by the wrong last name. And Atsushi's like, oh, pretend to be upset, pretend to be upset. Excuse yourself, go to the toilet. I mean, if you liked someone, how could you not know their last name? You worked with them for 34 days. <laughs> anyway, so Kano gets super depressed and he's like, oh, I blew it, I screwed up, oh God, she hates me. In that split second, Atsushi's thinking, how can we build him back up? How can we get him back to his confident self? And um, Kano's manager is also in on the prank and he's there. And Atsushi's like, call him up. Tell him that he just got the big part in a drama. Like in a couple of months, he's gonna be, he has a big role in a drama coming up that's gonna build him back up. 
So the manager calls him, Kano's so depressed, boy. He's like, congratulations, Kano, you've been selected to be on this drama. You're gonna be playing this person's ex-boyfriend. It's it's great, congratulations. And Kano is like, ah! he's, he's back to his narcissistic self. He starts bragging to Dina that, yeah, I'm gonna be on a drama, you know, finally, it's, it's been my dream to do something more serious. And he actually embellishes on this. He's like, they asked me to sing the theme song. I'm gonna sing the theme song to it. What? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so things are, things are going better again. He has them move to a special area so they can have a beautiful view of Tokyo. And Kano has readied a birthday cake to come out. Gosh, it, yeah, Kano has said some pretty cringy things to her, but nice, nice date plan, I gotta say. And finally, he's building up to give her her present, which is a song that he wrote. Cringy is the only way I can describe the lyrics to this song. And at the end of it, one of the waiters is like, starts giving him a standing ovation. Like, that was really good. And Atsushi is like on the, on the radio telling Dina like, cry, oh my God, cry. If you cry right now, you're gonna get a lot more work, cry. She couldn't actually cry. <laughs> and then Kano, after that song, I think they hold hands a little bit starting to build up. He's, he's getting ready to confess his love. He's still waiting, hoping that she's gonna confess first. He's like looking out the window and he's like, you should go somewhere. And he turns around, come back to my place. <laughs> and Atsushi's she's like, um, say, no, say you wanna go to someplace romantic. Give him another chance. Oh yeah, the second Kano says something perverted, that's when they're gonna like just crash his world. And she says, you, you, this is such a beautiful evening. How about we go somewhere romantic? And he's like, okay, your place. What kind of logic does this guy have? And that's, she's like, okay, fine, ask him. What, what, what are we gonna do at my place? So she says it and he's like, we're gonna leave behind a legacy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's talking about having kids with her. So yeah, his, his perverted side has finally come out and it's now time to crash his world. Uh, she says, agree to it. Okay, uh, excuse yourself, go to the bathroom. She goes out to the bathroom and this is Kano Eiko's mom, dressed in the same outfit as Bina. And she's about to take her place. So his mom gets in the seat as he's gazing out the window. He turns around and he's just so shocked. And his mom is like, you're coming back to my place, right? And he's like, in Sendai? And you can hear Kano Eiko's song being hum by Atsushi as he brings everyone from London Hearts towards Kano Eiko. And Kano just, oh, <laughs> he just can't believe it. He's tripping out, but mostly he just wants to know from when? When did this start? <laughs> and that's she reveals this start this started 34 days ago from from the very first day of that show. Which means that regular show you've been filming? It's not real. He's like, oh he's flipping out. He's like, but then but but Dina and and he reveals. Yeah, you weren't mailing Dina. You're mailing me. <laughs> he's freaking out even more. And that's, he's like, so everything's been staged. So that means, oh God, the drama. <laughs> the drama's not real. He can't believe it. He's, his world is shattered. He's like, oh God. He's like, oh, and that waiter that clapped for you. He's also one of our staff members. <laughs> Kano refuses to believe everything's been staged. And in a last ditch effort, he approaches Dina one last time. He's like, um, okay, like, I, I know this is how we met, but this doesn't have to be the end of our relationship. I've really fallen for you. Please, please date me. And she's like, no, ew, you're really creepy. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed that look into London Hearts. Real awesome show. Again, there's a lot of great prank shows in the world. Uh, I know Japan does some really crazy stuff, but I'm just so impressed by how thorough and how dedicated they were into making sure Kano was totally 
like convinced that this was his reality. Ugh, phenomenal. Again, if you want to see me cover more of this show, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see what kind of information I can find. And that's about it. So have a glorious day. Thank you.